This does not just apply to John Deere guys. You got your Husqvarna's, you got your Craftsman's out there, you got all kinds of riding lawnmowers that this is probably going to be the same issue on, on them. Not 100% of them, but by far the majority, you're going to find this issue right here. It's a design flaw. Or maybe it's not a design flaw. Maybe it's on purpose so they can sell more parts. And yes, they do sell more parts. You got your blade spindle right here. Again, the majority of you guys are going to see this little grease fitting right on the side of that uh, spindle right there. You take your grease gun, you grease it regularly, you grease that thing religiously, and then a year later, two years later, uh, your bearings in this thing fail, and you have to replace the spindle assembly or your bearings, and you go, well, why did I have to do that? I grease this thing all the time. What you don't know is that when you grease that fitting, the grease is doing absolutely nothing. It's filling up an empty cavity in there. It's not greasing anything. It's not greasing your bearings. Today, I'm gonna to show you why, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I gotta be honest with you guys, could be a two beer job here. Bitburger German. Oh, I'm definitely gonna save you some money today. Let's do this. SmallEngineSaloon.com right there. That's my website. I'm going to be actually talking about some other videos I've done too while we're doing this. Uh, I got some quick links for you up here to the information button. End of this video, I got some clickable thumbnails there for you too to get back to those videos. So stay tuned for that. So you got your mowing deck off. You got your belt taken off. What you have to do to uh, check this for your own lawnmower is you have to get this top pulley off of that spindle. So let's do that first. Get that top pulley off. What we gotta do is pop that, that jack shaft. Boom. Jack shaft, blade, everything comes right out the bottom. Put that aside. Now, you got your spindle there. The only thing left in that spindle is your two bearings. You got your top bearing and you got your bottom bearing. I am going to pop that bottom bearing out of there so I can show you what we're talking about here. Boom, you hear that? Just drop down. There it is right there. There's the bottom bearing. This is the problem right here. Look at that bearing. It is a sealed bearing on both sides. Seal there, seal there. There is no possible way for grease to get in that bearing. You probably can't hear that, but it's pretty grindy bearing because I know it's gonna be no grease in there. So because the bearings are sealed on both sides, Top one and that bottom one sealed on both sides. When you're greasing that fitting right there, it's filling up the cavity in between the two bearings and it's doing nothing. It really is truly doing nothing. That grease is not getting into those bearings. So what you gotta do is uh, take a little razor knife and uh, pop one side of the seal out. Be real careful with your razor knife. Easily pops out just like this. Just like that, pretty dry in there. Now, you got a couple options right here. If it is grindy like that, you can actually uh, clean and re-grease these things or buy new bearings. Uh, I do have a video up here in my information button too on a video I did on how to re-grease these things and clean them. Check that out when you get a chance. So, that's how you fix that right there. You take the seal out of one side of the bottom bearing and the seal out of the one side of the top bearing and you make sure that the open side the side with no seal in it now is 
is the one that's pointing towards the grease fitting on there. So you still got the seal on one side of the bearing so no dust and debris and water can get in from the outside, but the grease you're pumping in there can now squeeze up there and get into that bearing. Now you pump that thing full of grease and it's actually doing something. It's now gonna grease your bearings. Pull that one side off, put them back on there, jack shaft back on there, put it all back together, and uh, now you're gonna get a lot more longevity out of those bearings because now you can grease the suckers. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that an engineer who builds this stuff doesn't know that. It's so common sense. It's obvious that it doesn't work. I think it might be on purpose. There are so many things out here in this world that are built to fail. You wouldn't believe how many spindle assemblies, the whole assembly that any small engine shop sells in a year. The last couple of shops I've worked at, hundreds of them a year because of this problem right here. I hope I saved you guys some money. Thumbs up button, guys. Please give me that like button. And uh, put some comments down underneath this video. Let me know what you thought of that. Share this video with your friends because they need to know this too. Subscribe to my channel. Till the next time, guys. Steve out.